Marx died of bronchitis and pleurisy at his home in London on March 14, 1883. At the time of his death he was officially a stateless person and was buried in Highgate Cemetery, North London. Marx is buried with his wife Jenny, who died two years earlier, his daughter Eleanor, the family servant Helena Demyeth, and his grandson Harry Longuit who tragically died just six days after Marx. Marx's writings gained popularity in the late 19th century, after Marxism became the official ideology of the German Social Democrats, which is Germany's oldest political party, according to Deutschwelle. Vladimir Lenin was heavily influenced by Marx's work and became the leading figure of the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. This led to the creation of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or Soviet Union, a huge multinational state that was governed by the Communist Party. Communist revolutions influenced by Marx's writing spread elsewhere in the world during the 20th century, most notably in China, North Korea, Cuba and Southeast Asia. This eventually led to the onset of the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension for nuclear dominance between democratic, capitalist governments such as the US and communist regimes such as the Soviet Union. In 1980, approximately 1.5 billion people, more than a third of the Earth's population, were living under governments that claimed to be Marxist-Leninist, according to the American Enterprise Institute, a think tank located in Washington, D.C. Marx's association with the enemies of the U.S. and its allies during the Cold War made his writing controversial, Holt said. Much of our current political awareness was shaped by the conflict with communist countries, he said. Accordingly, Marx's writings are controversial since they are associated with the main political antagonist of non-communist countries in the 20th century. Historians continue to debate about the extent to which Marx can be blamed for the governments that claimed inspiration from his writings. Marx is often identified with the regimes in Eastern Europe and in Asia that did not come into existence until a generation or more after his death and whose policies, actions, and propaganda bear very little resemblance to anything you could find in Marx's writings, Wood told Live Science in an email. Regimes associated with Marxism committed many atrocities over the century, although Marx himself never advocated such measures. However, this does not mean that Marx bears no responsibility for the dictatorships that were created in his name, Kitching told Live Science in an email. He does, but that responsibility derives from his silences, from what he does not say, rather than from anything in his work.